today's video, we are going to see Espinar is consistently bowling on the good length. This shot will be helpful. A great position. You have to one swing from that position, not too much under the ball. You have to feel the high back lift. There is no stop at this position. Which length ball we can pick the shot? The first drill is getting into the position. That's the two keys, very, very important. The next drill, he is going to be in the position. It should hit here. That's a perfect elevation to develop the bat speed. If your bat was in the right position, you will get a very good result. Hello champions, this is Bulet from Boys Hobby Cricket Academy. Today's video, we are going to see how to play a slog sweep and what are the drills you can do to develop the shot. Slog sweep is a dominating shot against a spinner which will give you maximum runs against a spinner. A, sp a spinner is consistently bowling on the good length. This shot will be helpful to dominate against them. Let's see how to play this shot. To explain how to play the shot, today with me, Lokesh is here. So he is going to demonstrate how to play the shot. So from his stance, to play the shot, you need a good high back lift and get into the ball. A great position. You have to put your knees down, stretch maximum to reach the ball. The same time your bat is at higher position. Okay. And one swing from that position. Yeah. So you have to connect the ball. Stop at the connecting point. Yeah. You have to connect the ball at the side of the ball here. Okay. Under the ball and side of the ball. Not too much under the ball. You have to connect the side of the ball. So why this is to get the 45 degree angle. If you connect like that, the ball will travel like that. You will get a flat trajectory and the ball will sail over to boundary. Okay. So once more. Yeah. From your stance, get into the position. I will explain from there. Yeah, position. Yeah. So when you are when you are reaching the ball, you have to feel the high back lift. There is no stop at this position. When I am explaining, we are stopping and doing. But when you are executing, there is no stop. You have to do this movement with one flow. Okay. Now swing. Yeah. Now he'll demonstrate the same action with one flow. Do it with one flow. Come on. I'll stay back. Yeah, one swing. High back lift. Yeah, there is no stop. One swing. Okay, one more time. Next, we'll see which length ball we can pick the shot. Okay, when your stance, so come forward for your front foot drive. Yeah, the batsman is. Batsman's reach. So, batsman's reach, what we do? We will drive the ball. Okay. If the same ball is in good length, we can defend or we can play sweep. For the slog sweep, it should be slightly away from the sweep length. Sweep length, what we are going to do? Sweep, we are going to play at the pitch of the delivery. Slog sweep, you need a bounce to get the proper elevation. So, from your stance, the ball is pitching on the little bit in front of the good length and when it's bouncing you connect it will sail over with a 45 degree angle to bounce it now see what are the drills we can do to develop the shot okay the first drill is getting into the position okay for the ball getting into the position is a challenging one because the ball the bowler spins the ball you have to get into the position nicely if you are not in the right position you won't get a proper shot so getting into the position is important so when i'm going to drop the ball he's going to get into the position okay yes. so i'm going to drop the ball what you have you have to get into the position your bat should be high and you have to watch the ball and get into the position okay yeah yeah shaping yourself yeah ready better better when you are when you are doing this drill you concentrate whether your head is at the side of the ball because the ball is bouncing you have to get the view of side of the ball and you have to get your back nice and good at the side of the ball to get a proper elevation so that's the purpose and whenever you are getting into position so you have to concentrate leaning and you have to concentrate on your 
high back lift. That's the two keys, very, very important. Head is to the ball, your bat is up. Concentrate, yeah, come back. Heads to the ball, high back. Yeah, good, good. Again, better, better. The next drill, he is going to be in the position. Be in the position. Come on. Yes. I'm going to drop the ball at the length. So he's going to pick the ball over. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So, see, when you're connecting, feel the shape of the connection. Feel the shape of the connection. Short. 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 So, nice elevation. This is the perfect elevation. So, you have to hit the, I mean, mid part of the net or imagine a fielder here above the hands of the fielder. It should hit here. That's a perfect elevation. So, you can uh, beat the short mid wicket fielder and also mostly if you connect with a good swing, it will sail over to boundary. Yeah, few more draw balls. Yeah. Short. Nice middling. Good. Again. Short. Okay. Good. The next drill, the next drill to develop the bat speed. Because when you are playing at the stationary position, so the bat speed was very less. Okay. So to improve the shot, we are going to do the bat speed drill. Uh, always whenever, whenever I am doing the bat speed, I believe in this rapid fire feeding. Okay. Rapid fires. Okay. Ready? From the position? Yeah, from the position. High back lift and get into the position. Yeah, watch the ball. Yeah, rapid fires. Go. Go. Ready, ready. Balance. Balance, ready. Balance. Good. Feel your hands. Feel your hands. Up. Good. Good watching. Why I say that is a good watching? Because the ball is not in your reach. Still you adjusted and played. That's well played. Good. Good shot. Good shot. Concentrate on the flow of your bat. Feel the connecting point. In a connecting, feel the connecting point. So we did two drills. Number one is positioning. Number two is bat speed number three connection of your shot okay so if your bat was in the right position you will get a very good result right like i said the you have to make that 45 degree angle so for that i'm going to feed easy full toss you have to stop at the connecting point yes. to develop the shape of the shot sir. okay yes, sir. yeah position stop at the connecting point yeah shape that's good that's good Yes, look at that, look at that, nice position, nice position, very good. So here you connected and you just stopped it here, you are not fall. Because that shape will collapse whenever you are trying to finish the shot. What will happen when you are trying to finish the shot, you will get closed or you will get open, right? So we have to develop this drill to keep the shape of the bat nice and good. Just connect, yes, good, watch the ball and connect, good. Watch the ball and connect. Nice and good. Good. We are in different drills, right? Yes. Now we are going to execute. I am going to feed the ball from there. From uh, 18 yards, I am going to feed overarm throwdowns. Sure. You have to pick the right shots. If you miss also, no problem. Sure. You concentrate on the keys. Okay? If you miss means you realize why you missed okay you understand you reflect okay why, why you missed that ball and go for the next ball don't get disappointed that you, when you miss a shot okay yes. watch the ball confidently you play no doubt no doubt on that swing one swing confidently go for it okay yes. shot good shot nicely picked no worries don't stop the flow go with confidently see you stopped your flow what we said about the technique yeah, one swing, your bat should be here. So here when we are practicing, you go for all the shots, every ball, confidently swing the bat. Don't stop the swing. Okay, got it. Confidently one swing. 
shot, one swing, one swing, shot, shot, shape of your bat, right? So each shot, you concentrate on the key points, I said, right? So before, before getting into your stance, because we are working on the drills, right? So you get into your stance, think about the key points. What are the key points? High back lift, shape of your bat, one swing, right? So stance, one swing, got it? Shot, a shot, good shot. Shot. Hope you guys understand the technique, how to play the slog sweep. And you see in the drills, how to execute it. Let's see what are the common mistakes while playing this shot. So let us to locate itself, what are the mistakes that he feel when he is playing the shot. Okay, explain what are the, what are the feel you got like when you are executing the shot. Because when you are doing the drills, you executed well. When you are playing with the overarm, there is a lot of things happen, right? Yes, so you will explain what are the things you missed. So few balls means I take my head away from the ball. Yeah, number one. Yeah, we can keep it. He take the head away from the ball. So the main key point is getting to the ball. If your head goes, automatically your shoulder comes down. Your bat stays up. Okay, next one. And few balls, my bottom hand grip turns, sir. Yeah, so connecting point. We did a drill of the full toss and shaping the bat, right? So he missed to connect that. So when you are playing the shot, when you are going hard with the ball, there is a chance will happen. When, you are, when your bat is firm in your hands, you won't slip your hands. Okay, so keep your hands firm and good while connecting the ball. Yeah, next one. And the last point, I means I didn't feel my position, unbalanced. Yeah, when you are positioning yourself, if you, if you are stretched and nicely, if you are not sit down properly, you lose your balance. Sometime you not reach the ball, the ball is far away from you, you sit down, you lose that balance, right? Yes. And if it doesn't sit to the angle of the ball, the ball is outside of some line, if you sit straight, mm -hmm. what will happen? You have to reach the ball, you lose the balance. So that's very, very important, the angle of the ball. The ball is outside of stump line, you have to sit to that angle. If the ball is on the stump line, Straight. you have to sit to that angle. If the ball is on yes. outside leg, you have to yes. sit to the angle. Understand? Yes. Yeah. So what is the next thing? Those three points. That's, that's three things. Oh. oh, your head and your back. Bottom and grip. Bottom and grip. Yeah. So another, another common mistake is like not picking the release of the bowler okay so you can pick the bowlers release itself whether the ball is bowling up whether he is bowling short if the ball is short it's a little bit difficult to execute if the ball is too full it's again difficult to full and flat means it's again difficult to execute the ball should be on the good length and a little bit in front of the good length you can execute this shot okay thank you for watching have a good day